by sending warm virtual hugs to each and every one of you. Hi, I am Sia Kamath and since you're here now, I really appreciate if you took out the time and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Now, this is my first ever YouTube video and it feels surreal. I always wanted to start my YouTube channel since a very long time. But due to certain circumstances, I couldn't do it. But now that I'm here, I promise you all that you all will have a great time on this channel. So for today's video, I'm going to talk with you guys some random weird facts about me because that's going to help you all get to know me a little better so that we could build this trust and bond between the two of us. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Started. Okay, you guys. So the first random weird fact about me is that I can move my ears. <laughs> now, I know that this huh? was a trait that was present in our ancestors. And as we evolved, we were not supposed to have this trait because initially it was meant to help the organism pick up the sound waves, but we don't need to do that anymore. But... I don't know. I'm just weird and I can move my ears. So I'm going to show it to you all right now. See, I can move it while I'm talking to you. My earrings are just moving, Vita. Yeah, see, I can move my ears. So that's very weird. But I think it's called atavism. That is appearance of ancestral characters. So yeah, the first weird uh, fact about me is that I can move my ears. Now, the second weird not hack. Did I just say hack? The second weird fact about me is that I hate frogs. Now, believe it or not, but I just can't stand random slimy creatures jumping here and there all the time. The croaking just gets on my nerves. I just, I just get goosebumps every time I see a frog. I just can't, can't stand frogs. So yeah, I just, I just hate frogs. Not like I want to kill them or something, but I just wish that they never like came next to me because uh, it just, uh, I just hate frogs. Okay. The third random weird fact about me is that when I was two years old, I locked my mom inside the bathroom. Okay. So the, the story goes as, um, I think I was upset about something and my mom went for a shower and she left me outside and dad had gone for work. So now what, I was asking her for something and she wasn't giving that to me. I think, I think I wanted some toy or something and she had hidden it or something like that. I really don't remember. But what I ended up doing is that uh, while she, uh, these old uh, bathroom doors had the latch outside the door, like not inside, but outside. So what I went, what I did was I went and I latched the door, not intentionally, but like I was trying to bang the door asking and pleading her to come outside but she didn't and in the bargain of banging the door i just locked the door and the thing is i was short so i managed to lock it but i couldn't open it so my mom was locked inside the bathroom and we both were locked inside a house and my dad had no clue because he was at work so it was a really helpless situation for my mom so she had to finally take the bucket and break the door and that's how she came out and then after that i had a really great bashing yeah so that was fact number three now the next fact about me is that it's food related i'm just giving you all a heads up please don't hate me please don't leave this video after i say this but are you ready i'm sure you're not ready for this i hate hate pizzas like i hate pizzas okay like i don't know why people love pizza so much and i've given it its fair share of chance to prove me wrong i've tried eating pizzas twice <laughs> but in vain i just can't get myself to like a pizza the first time i ate a pizza i puked and the second time i ate a pizza i thought like Probably I puked because it was stale or something. But the second time I ate the pizza also, I didn't like it. So I don't get the hype behind pizza. I know 99% of the population living on this globe loves pizzas. But 
I just hate hate pizzas. Along the same lines of food, there's another food item that I hate, and by this time I know you are going to definitely exit this video because, lo and behold, I hate Maggie. I don't love Maggie. You'll never see me eating Maggie. I just hate the smell of Maggie. That smell of Maggie when it comes to a boil is just so irritating and annoying, and eh, I feel like puking. So yeah, I just hate Maggie, and my other two siblings love Maggie. So there's Maggie in my house literally every second day. Probably that's why I de developed this aversion towards Maggie. But I just hate Maggie. I don't know how people eat Maggie. All types of Maggie, yeah, not just the simple one, cheese Maggie, blah, 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 all the Maggies. I just hate, hate Maggie. The next weird fact about me is that I bite my nails. Okay, and I tend to bite them even more when I'm nervous. I don't know how many people do that, but yeah. Now you can see that these nails are grown, and you all will like see how you're lying. But like, look at these nails. They are really ugly because I bite them. And the only way to get me not to bite the nails is by putting nail paint on it. So this one has like thoda nail paint left on it. That's why I haven't bitten them. But these ones, since I don't apply nail paint on my right hand because I can't do that, that's why I always end up biting my right hand nails. And yeah, it's gross, but that's who I am. And the next fact about me is that. I speak gibberish randomly. Now, this is huh? so weird that I've invented my own language and I just smoothly transform into this new person who speaks this new unknown language to people and people just don't understand. I'll give you an example. I've I have like developed my own sentences and phrases in this new language that I've developed for myself and my family has eventually gotten used to Understanding that language, I'll give you an example. For example, Ku kantunash get to nash. Ku kantunash get to nash means what are you doing? Okay, I know as absurd as it sounds, but I think I enjoy that language more than the other normal languages that we speak. Okay, it's just close to my heart and I invented it. So every time you want to say what are you doing, you're going to say Ku kantunash get to nash. The next weird habit about me is that I like holding things in my hand, okay? I don't like carrying a purse. I don't even like holding my phone in my hand. I just I just feel like I'm either going to throw it out or just, I'm just going to leave it somewhere and forget about it. So I just can't get myself to hold things in my hand. Like I need someone to hold it for me. That's the reason I never carry a bag and I just always want jeans who have a pocket or dresses which have a pocket, like even this one has a pocket because I need to put it in my pocket. I just can't hold things in my hand. It's very annoying and I just feel like I lose it. So I always need someone to carry it for me. That's why I, I don't own purses. I just have one that was gifted to me by my friend. Otherwise, I don't because what's the point? Just don't carry stuff. Just don't carry stuff. Money is also in my pocket. I don't carry a purse. I just can't. Okay. Yeah, that's weird enough, but I just hate carrying things in my hand. The next annoying thing about me is that it's not annoying, but I know people are going to judge me for this, but it's getting as weird as it sounds. I haven't watched a single episode of Friends. Where is my crown? Where is my crown? I haven't watched a single episode of Friends. So every time there are Friends references, I'm just blank because I don't understand a thing. And I'm also not a series person. So like, even if you ask me about the recent series also, I don't know anything. So I'm just so lost. And like, people are like, what do you do then? Apart from like studies and whatever. I don't know how my time goes. Half my time goes in sleeping because I'm a sloth. I can sleep 14 hours, 15 hours, 16 hours continuously. I love sleeping. So yeah, that's where I waste all my time. I don't need series to waste my time. So yeah, and half of the time goes on YouTube. Other than that, I haven't watched a single episode of Friends. I don't know who this Phoebe and Chandler, all of them are. I've just heard their names and I've just seen their pictures. So all this Friends reunion was a big thing. But I just was like, hmm, what's the big deal about it? So yeah, I have not watched Friends. 
Okay, the knack, knack. <laughs> oh, mama. Okay. The next weird fact about me is that I impersonate people. Now I'll explain what I mean when I say I impersonate people. Is that is genetic? Okay, I inherited from my mother. My sister also does it. Other two sisters also do it, so I've inherited it from my mom. So we basically are very observant people. So I tend to observe people a lot, like the way they walk, the way they talk, and their hand movements and all of that. So I <laughs> recently discovered, you know, like recently, like two years ago, but like I discovered it that I can impersonate people. Obviously, people who are like really close to me and who I meet on a daily basis, so that I can like monitor the way they walk and the way they talk, and even teachers. Yeah, I might get into trouble after that after saying this, but yeah. So I tend to impersonate people. So I've impersonated my friends. There's this one friend of mine who has a weird way of walking. Like he'll do that with his bag while walking. So him. There's another friend of mine who. Tends to speak in this high pitched voice. I won't give out names, but she knows who it is. So yeah, it's you, you, you. Yeah. So she speaks in this high pitched voice. So all these peculiar things about people, I tend to notice, and then I try to impersonate them. That's that. Okay. The next weird random fact about me is that I was a very annoying kid. In my childhood, I was very annoying. My parents used to take me to the park to play, and all I used to do was cry and want to go back home. So I was just very annoying. I would not go to anyone's house, and you know, you have this thing where you, when you go to someone's house, you take some food items or like chips or like whatever snacks for them. What I used to do is, we used to go to someone's house. I used to take those snacks and come back with the snacks. I used to never give them back. I used to cry my eyes off. I want them back, and they had to like. Feel pity, pity, <laughs> sympathize for me and give it back to me, and that's when I should stop crying. So I was a very annoying child, and like my my parents tell me that they just hated it because I was very annoying and I embarrassed them most of the time. Because imagine you go to someone's house and you get something for them and you come back with it home. Okay, it's very annoying. Just kids don't do that. Kids don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So the next very <laughs> I'm just I'm embarrassed at this point. Please don't exit the video and please subscribe to my channel because I'm giving out all my secrets here. Okay, so the next what happened to the lights? Ghostly stuff. Okay, so the next random weird embarrassing thing about me is that I used to shoplift when I was a child. I feel like a robber right now, but yeah. So basically, what happened is, I'll tell you all the story. Okay, there is like a basis to the story. It's not just like I was a thief and I just went randomly shoplifting things. No, that's not the way. So what happened is, it was during Ganesh Chaturthi, and I was little. Okay, I was like five years old. Okay, and I was a very naughty child. So what happened is that <laughs> we went to the market, and my mom was buying some cosmetics. And you know that henna mehndi that you put on your hands, so they were like nicely arranged on that shop, okay, on the counter. And what happened is I was like dying to buy that, so I was just telling my mom and like crying, cranky baby, like please, please, please buy me those things. And she was just like no because anyways I don't leave it on my hand for more than two seconds, so why waste money? But I was just like cranky, and my mom was busy buying the cosmetics. And so what I did was I casually, I didn't know it was. Robbing or anything, okay. I just didn't know that, okay. I didn't know it was stealing. So what I randomly did was I removed while my mom and the shopkeeper was talking, the lady. I casually, very randomly lifted the mendi cord and I dropped in that big shopper bag that used to carry to the market way back. I so just like randomly put all the stuff in my. I just like put around. Thirteen mehndi cones in that bag. Okay, I thought it was normal because my mom wasn't buying, and the only way I could get the mehndi cone was if I just lifted and dropped it in my bag. So that's what I did. I did exactly that, and when we came back home, my mom was taking out all the stuff from the bag, 
and to her surprise one mehndi cone second mehndi cone third mehndi cone and there were around 13 13 mehndi cones in that bag and she thought when the first mehndi cone came out she thought it was dropped by mistake second one third one you're getting the point right 13 mehndi cones out of that bag and then she called me she's like do you know anything about what's happening right here and i was like yeah i did it you were not buying me the mehndi cones i wanted the mehndi cones so by hook or by crook i wanted the mehndi cones and that's what i did and yeah again i got a nice bashing and the next day my dad obviously went back and returned the 13 mehndi cones so yeah i think that's all for the random weird embarrassing to be precise facts about me if you guys enjoyed this video then please 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 i'd really appreciate if you all took a moment to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that every time i update update <laughs> upload a new video you all will get notified and i will see you all in my next video bye i love you sending virtual hugs